My name is Brian Lethan. I am a special agent. I work for the Wisconsin Department of Justice. This is a photo of the state of Wisconsin. The Department of Justice is an agency that is specifically assigned as an investigative agency. Due to the fact that we are statewide law enforcement, we have the ability to work with many other local, county, and state agencies to run investigations that many times will cross boundaries. I could tell you as it relates to heroin, uh, there are no boundaries. Heroin is found in suburban areas, urban areas, rural areas, it doesn't matter, it's everywhere. In the 1970s, heroin had a very small user group. Heroin at the time was very impure, uh, meaning that it had roughly three to 5% purity concentration. It was very expensive at between $300 and $400 per gram, and it was primarily injected. And generally speaking, we find that prescription medications cost roughly a dollar a milligram. So 40 milligram pill is $40. And if you have a strong prescription abuse problem, you can see that you're gonna run into issues very quickly. Roughly 2010, um, in an effort to cut down on the amount of prescription abuse, one of the biggest manufacturers of Oxycontin, uh, Purdue Pharma, actually came up with a formula to make it so it would not be as widely abused. So a combination of that, coupled with a combination of uh, the mere fact of the price, along comes heroin as a major resurgence. Street level sales, boom, multiple ways to ingest it, heroin has absolutely taken off. A real common method that we find that people are going to inhale or, or snort the heroin. Another method is actually smoking it. And I point this out because this is a class example here. It's a piece of aluminum foil. Um, people will place the heroin on the aluminum foil and cook it down below. And it's commonly referred to as chasing the dragon as they capture the smoke that comes off of it. So in terms of your loved ones or people that you see, these are things to be looking for. Injecting heroin. Some of the little items that you're gonna see that are associated with it are going to include some sort of cooking device where you can actually put the heroin and liquefy it. Also mention the cotton ball. It's something that a lot of people will discard. It's a great sign or indicator of heroin use as well. This is a typical rig or kit that we would see, and again, things for you to take note of. What this slide represents here is 2005 numbers for the state of Wisconsin as it relates to heroin cases that have been submitted to the state crime lab. If you take note, those that have no color, uh, there have been no submissions. And I don't need to really dictate this a whole lot, but if you slowly click through the slides, you're going to see an increase here, and the color does change, that red is more and more cases. So in the course of nine years, we had counties that had no submissions of heroin, and now the vast majority of the state is absolutely covered in the maximum uh, threshold category here. Seven years ago, in my drug enforcement days, we seldom had heroin investigation cases. Uh, they were few and far between. Now we see them, and they take the predominant amount of our time. If you look at the Interstate 41 and 43 corridor, you're gonna see the direct correlation from the Brown County area all the way down to Milwaukee and ultimately Chicago. Some of the most effective drug dealers are those that don't personally touch it at all themselves. All they do is supply people with that. So we know in the realm of heroin, we have Chicago-based suppliers. We have some in Milwaukee. We have some that go back and forth. We have some people that set up shop here we have other people that want to make a few dollars along the way, and then ultimately we have at the bottom our individual users. We find that a lot of this has started with prescription drug abuse, so I strongly encourage you, if you have unwanted, unused medications at home, please get rid of them. It's free, it's anonymous, it's safe, it's responsible, it's all good to do. And that wraps it up, so thank you so much.